Hello, this is Vic, and on this video, i um, going to be going over everything you need to know about your crayfish, crawfish, lobsters, crawdads, whatever you want to call them, but I think you get the gist. So, this is my crawfish setup right here. I'm not exactly sure how, like, how big it is or anything like that, but, um, yeah, um, it's just a plastic tub you can get at Walmart, um, I would suggest getting one of these if you don't want to spend money on an aquarium. They do the same job. Um, your vision isn't as good. Like seeing through the tank, your vision isn't as good as it would be with a uh, glass aquarium. But, you know, it gets the job done. Um, this is actually my breeding setup. But um, the same principles apply. So, um, I have a filter running. You're going to need one of those. Um, you can leave uh, your temperature. Like, uh, you don't need a heater. You can leave it room temperature, which is what I have. Um, so, there should be a few under here. Yeah, there's two. So, um... You want hiding spots because crayfish are aggressive towards each other. Um, that's something you definitely want to have. You can see I have here, I just have just anything you can find. Just something that they can hide in. I have like a, that little bell thing, I don't know. Um, all this was one big piece. All these things were one big piece. But um, when I got them, it was actually a return. It was a return because somebody had dropped it and broke it. Um, I got most of these things at the, uh, um, not my person, not not my personal um, business, but um, um, another pet store I work at. Um, I go out. I work there on Saturdays, and um, got most of that stuff from here. And um, thought one of my crayfish was stuck in there, so I I um, broke that up and found it so um what else also i don't know if you guys can see but there is feeder guppies and rosy red minnows in there um the i breed the feeder guppies and the rosy man the rosies um they just do whatever they want but um in that big tank over there i don't know if you can see it way over there but um there's some uh oscars pikes uh pike cichlids uh pim cats and stuff in there and they eat the uh this stuff so that's why i have that and another thing if you have other fish in your aquarium along with your crayfish it makes them more aggressive um just because it's live food and it give them something to fight for so it does make them just a little bit more aggressive but um that's not a big deal so as you can see they like to hide in places like that so. um your crayfish they will fight each other and um they can regrow all their limbs. You'll see them molt. Um, the younger they are, the more they're molt, the more they will molt. Um, but as they get older and bigger, like this size, well, that size, well, they're all the same size in here. But um, they're only going to uh, molt a few times a year. So um, that's not a big issue. Um, they will, like the skin that they shed or molt, whatever you want to call it, They'll eat that. You can take it out. You can do whatever you want with it. But that's just a little extra little food for them if you want. If you want to say. But um, I don't know if you can see those crayfish in there. But so if you do get one, don't fill this up all the way. So as you can see, I only have mine like that. Maybe six, seven inches. Um, because the reason why you want to do that is because it's just a plastic tub. 
Look at that. It's not made for water. So you don't want to fill it up on all the way. Yeah, because that this thing's not made to handle something like that, and then it'll just, you know, like I said, you can't do this with a glass aquarium. Um, it's not really flimsy. You just don't want to fill it up because it's not made for this, and it will break. Um, so I have mine on the floor. As you can see, the only escape route is this right here, um, the wire from the filter running to the plug right there. So, um... It's crayfish aren't as good as escaping as um, the fiddler crabs. They're very good at es at escaping. But um, I've had this for a mm, couple months, a month or two, something like that. Um, I had red, white, and blue crayfish in here before, and now I have these regular crayfish breeding them. Um, never had any incidents of escaping. Never seen one trying to escape or anything like that. Um, if they do escape. They'll probably go under a couch or something, you know, just something, somewhere where they can hide. Um, but, uh, other than that, you probably won't need to worry about escaping. It would be best to have a lid, but I chose not to. Uh, so, um, they do like to eat live plants, so if you do have, like, live plants in your tank, they will demolish them, uh, rip them up and stuff. Uh, java fern is really good and uh, let me show you guys what java fern is so um, that right there is java fern um, ice cream plant um, this stuff is really really hardy um, it's hard to kill this stuff I have it in my guppies and molly's tanks uh, tank multiple tanks and uh, it doesn't even uh, die on me so you know it's a pretty good plant but uh yeah, so that's pretty good, and uh, I also raised this, so, like, I don't know what you call it, I just, I raise them, so let me show you guys the tank that I raise them in also. Here it is right here, this is one of my two tanks that I raise Java Fern in, this is a 75 gallon with the uh, Pim Cats, Oscars, and Pike Cichlids, so, yeah, this is a really great food source for your crayfish gives them a lot of extra, you know, fiber and stuff like that in their diet. Makes them a lot healthier, makes their color stand out a little more. Um, and makes them, uh, like I said, healthier, which in turn makes them um, in breeding condition. So, um, I'll take you guys back to the uh, crawfish tank. So, we're back now to the crawfish tank. And, um, I think... I think I'm about starting to wrap it up here. That's pretty much everything you need to know about your crayfish, crawfish, crawdads. You know what I mean? Um, I'll I'll be doing another video on how to sex them, I guess. Yeah, I'll do another video video on how to sex your crayfish, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you have any additional questions, put them in the uh, comments and... Comment, like, subscribe, give me suggestions, and thanks for watching, and have a nice day.